Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu's. In this episode, we will take all the land that is within Ireland proper. And um, once we're done with that, we'll start inching our way into the mainland. Or I guess uh, into England. And we'll start with uh, Wales, I believe. Yeah, we'll start with Wales. We've already got a claim in uh, Dyfed. So, Chancellor, you've done a good job at Dyfed. Please, can you move over to Gwynedd and start your process over there? Got a two-county duke over here. He himself doesn't possess both counties, but... Um, yeah, once we're done with them... We'll move on to these two, and then these three. Or... This isn't actually two. Huh, she's got four under her belt. Okay, well, that's fine. Right now, I think we, it's a good time to attack the... Uh, the Duke slash Count of, um, Ergyala. I don't know how to pronounce that. He will inevitably summon, um, what's it? Tribal armies. Well, a tribal army, but we've got one too, so, uh, you try anything with me, buddy, and, um, you're getting it. You're getting it good, boy. And I'm apparently trying to seduce... Ingolidis. Fantastic. Actually, maybe we can attack them right now. Before they raise their tribal army. I mean, I'm sure they will. But, at least this way, we sieging their crap down. We're already at 75%. Maybe we didn't need to uh, raise tribal army. Okay. Let's quote love poetry. And let's let our love grow. Fantastic. Oh, look. They did raise their tribal army. On top of ours. No less. Bit of a dumb move, but you know what? I'm not gonna fault their tactics. Because their dumb tactics is what's, uh, letting me win this war. That and the overwhelming numbers that I possess. But let's, uh, start a new seduction target. Let's see if we can seduce our sister again. Sister? Let's do this, baby. What is this? Worrying report- Who died? My sister. My other sister died. Of rabies, no less. Wow. Okay. So worrying reports have reached you regarding your marshal. It seems he has been using your soldiers to exhort, extort money from the peasantry in Ulaid. What the fuck? Come on, man. What is wrong with you? Can we get a better marshal? Yes, but he wouldn't like me as much. We could go with a Tresak over here. Fortunately, he's zealous, so I don't think he's going to change his um opinion anytime soon. Or he's not going to change his stance anytime soon. Any way he would be a loyalist? Mmm. No. Well. Mmm. Not sure. He, well, he might. He might if we bribe him enough. He might be able to change his ways. But yeah. Uh, I suppose we should fire him. Although the uh, local... Revolt risk is going to go up regardless. You know what? <sighs> yeah, you forfeited your office. You're a sack of shit. We could rehire him. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, let's rehire him. And I guess I could imprison him whenever I want, so that's an added incentive to have this guy as our, as our dude. Although, look at the money he's got. Holy shit. Can I revoke your title? No, I can't. Okay, fine. How about I imprison you? And then, can I banish you? No. Lower vassal opinion of me with my 20. Oof, that's fairly rough. I mean, I think I could probably afford it. But that's still fairly rough. Okay, fine. Let's get Tresak over here to be our... Hmm. We want him to be our... Yeah, shit already. You know what? Tresak can be our... Our main man. We'll bribe you a little bit. Maybe that'll incentivize you to become a loyalist instead? No. He's still zealous. What a sack of shit. You know what? Let's stop following their army and let's actually just... Uh... Okay, great. So I guess my sister isn't... Very much so into banging me, but that's fine. We'll change our mind. 
And I think we can actually just siege this down. Fantastic, 100%. That is lovely. Nice. Oh no. She's spurning me. She's rejecting my advances. How dare she? What is this? Unacceptable. I kind of really want Kanakt. But, hmm. If I go to war against you now, wait, I can't. Why can't I go to war against you for Kanakt? Oh, that's not your realm. Mercia. That's the one that we have to deal with. What's your military like? Decent. I don't think she would call it any allies. So if we if we're at full force, we might actually be able to take her on. Hmm. And we have completed our large market city. Fantastic. Any other places we should probably improve? We're a little strapped for cash right now, so maybe we should not worry about that too much. Come on, sister. You know you want to. We're both dwarves. Or we're both leprechauns. We might as well pump out some babies, right? Some inbred babies? Oh, look at that. She's coming around. She is coming around the mountain. Oh, damn. Found a lock of hair wrapped in silk with her personal seal in my chambers. My bed chambers or my chamber as in my toilet because either way I'm fine with that okay let's take the lustful one I can't believe I can't even handle like two lovers what is this okay great so let's hmm let's make a lewd suggestion okay apparently um she was shocked and disgusted that's unfortunate Let's quote love poetry. Yes, we did it. We did it. We seduced my sister. Cecilia and I uh, gave our souls to Lucifer in the warm waters of that stream, lost in wicked sin. When we returned to the main party in the evening, grinning and squeaky clean, the servants came rushing. If only they knew. By the Lord, I hope they don't. <laughs> yes, we have seduced our sister. Fantastic. Excuse me, attraction to dwarf negative 30? Have you looked in the mirror? We're both dwarves, miss. Okay, although she is a little old, so that does reduce her chance of um, bearing our dwarven babies, which is kind of unfortunate. Really? No other dwarves in this world? Fine. Okay, Gertruda. Hmm. Maybe we can uh, mark as a special interest. Just keep an eye out for her, for until she becomes of age. Maybe I'll betroth myself to her. I can't? Right, because I already have a wife. Got it. But really? Is that all there is in the world? Fine. Hmm. They're all still married and shit, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, maybe I can get you killed. Although, since he's both, they're both of age, so they're most likely going to end up getting married, right? Yep, there we go. Just got married. Can I get this guy killed? Probably not. That's unfortunate. Alright, fine. We'll leave it at that. Um, let's turn our sights towards this guy's lands and claim Dyfed. This will give us a little bit more territory to work with. And he's actually... Whoa, you're actually coming into our lands? Are you sure that's a smart idea? I mean, it's not. So, it kind of works to our advantage here. I took a good look at myself and thought about my weaknesses and strengths. After many hours of soul searching, I realized... I have nothing to be ashamed of. Fantastic. A little bit of extra prestige should help. I don't really want to take a major river crossing penalty, because that would suck balls. So we're going to take the long way around, which... What the f... That is not the... That is a super long way around. What is this? Marshall? What are you doing? Come on, train troops, man. What are you guys doing? You guys are not doing the thing that I want you to do. What's happening in Italy over here? By the way. What's happening with the Basilisk? And the... You're still the king of Lombardy. Great. Fantastic. 
And the Pope still exists in Rome. Good. I don't know why I questioned that. Just seemed a little weird. Oof. Okay, you know what? It took us such a long time to uh, seduce our sister. Let's break up with our non, uh, non-dwarven lover. Okay, he's back in my lands. Right, I think this would be a good idea for us to reduce his uh, forces even more. And then, oh, look at that, he's not even going back to his lands. Fantastic. Okay, what can we improve upon? We can improve upon this stuff. Let's go with, I say... Castle infrastructure, I guess? Yeah, sure, I don't know. Do we want to call in our, you know, yeah, you know what, sure. Let's call in our vassal. Hmm. Kind of wondering if we should just play this entire campaign as tribal instead of going feudal or um, Merchant Republic. I mean, Merchant Republic would be interesting because I don't really uh, play as... I've never properly played as a Merchant Republic. Um, and also, the whole aspect of focusing on gold would be a kind of thematic with the... Um, with the Leprechauns. What is this? You've been approached by Katone of Oristani. Who the fuck is Katone of Oristani? Who is this? G Gabe? Who's who's Katone? Like seriously. Who's Katone? Is... Oh. He's Orthodox. Oh right. Let's engage Katone in um, theological debate. And he's now Christian. Fantastic. That's awesome. I worked out to our advantage. I mean, kind of. Didn't really matter one way or another, but oh well. Let's have you embrace the ways of the thrift. Uh, otherwise, we can just let the siege go. I don't think we have enough um, of a difference in our um, army size for me to be able to assault that holding, but... Okay, uh, Abbott wants my money. Well, I don't really have the money to give you right now. And boom! We did it! Oh my god, this is the best. As my- oh, it, get, it just keeps getting better. As my troops ransack the castle of Dinifur, they uh, uncovered an interesting relic that Count Sisal had hidden away there. Fantastic, we get a throwing axe. Which is, well, it's okay. I mean, it's not amazing. Doesn't it increase my... Um, well, I don't know if it actually does anything, but whatever. Cool. Alright, we're at 100%. Fantastic. Let's piece him out. Nice. And now we can go attack this guy. Oh, yeah, bitch. What? I can pillage the holding? Oh, it's because I'm tribal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How much money would I gain from this? 50 gold. Not a bad idea, actually. But I don't know. I'm still not sure if I should adopt feudalism or go with Merchant Republic. I do like the sound of Merchant Republic, because I think with Merchant Republic, I can designate an heir, right? Which means that I can marry and bang as many women as I want and just, you know, accept them, legitimize all of them, and then have shit ton of children, and then I can have a shit ton of trade posts and all that crap. Would that work? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't be able to have a concubine then. I don't know. I'll, I'll do some thinking. I'll do some thinking, but for now, let's uh, focus on claiming more territory. Let's actually take a look at Hitler's uh, queen here. She's currently pregnant. Hmm. Might not be a bad time to attack her. Actually, let's just let our um, milita military might replenish just a little bit. This wouldn't be a bad time to attack this guy, though. Because he's currently being sieged and all that crap, so... Yeah. 
Might be taking a little bit more loss with our military, but I think we should be fine. Let's call in our allies, and the sound effects have just plummeted once more. I don't know why it keeps happening, but oh well. The game doesn't care. It's like, you know what? Sucks to be you, Cthulhu Loops. You're an asshole. And I can imprison this guy for what reason? Oh, he's plotting to kill someone. Some dude whose father is named Brian. Fantastic. Well, you know what? We've destroyed your stupid-ass rebellion for you. Piece of shit, so you kind of owe us. Alright, let's get these guys merged up. Let's siege their lands, and then attack them? Or should we just continue to siege their lands? Let's just continue to siege their lands. That's what I'll do. Because I don't want to give anyone an advantage one way or another. Thus, mm, you know what? I needed to do that because they kept harassing the rebel army. And if they crushed the rebels, it would mean that they would, um, the, the, they might, I might not have a vast, uh, valid Cassus Belli anymore. Okay, so we can raise tribal, tribal, tribal. I cannot talk today. Maybe this should maybe this should be a silent playthrough from now on. I'm just kidding, of course. But okay, great. So we're making a little bit more um, headway into there, and I think it's actually time to give away Desmond or Moo Moo. I know I spent a bit of time um, building that place up, but you know, I also need to expand. So, mm, how angry would they be if I kept on if I held on to it? How much... Uh, doesn't really say how many troops I'm... Uh, I, I'm shorting myself on by holding on to these lands. But I say I think it's probably a good idea to give them away regardless. Okay, man. You're the best dude that we have for Desmond. It's my former capital. So I want you to take good care of it, okay, buddy? And we've got this ancient dude named Lennon will give you this place a county whose name I cannot pronounce for the life of me and guy with a silly hat you can take the that place the other place whose name I just cannot pronounce and we will in fact make you the high chief of what the fuck is this uh, you would love me so fantastic and I think I need a new advisor as well. Let's get a sycophant. Uh, you are definitely a loyalist, so that's fantastic. All right, buddy boy. Here you go. You get the high chiefdom of Moo Moo. Bing, bang, boom. And we can still do that. Okay. But right now, right now, we really need to focus on claiming Knacht. So let's go ahead. Get that going. While he's somewhat weakened, and I don't have as many troops as before. Which kind of makes sense, but that's kind of stupid of me as well. Oh well, that's okay. We have a tribal army to support us, so I think we're okay there. As long as we don't get, um, you know, kicked in the face by some other ally of his that we uh, didn't account for. Which I'm hoping doesn't exist, and I'm thinking doesn't exist, but you never know, right? The AI cheats sometimes. Look at him. Look at him coming in. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Oh, nope. He's going away. Okay. Oh. Where are you going, man? I thought you were going to deliver some troops to my um, front door and get your face kicked in. No? What an asshole. Unbelievable. What is this? Fat Hitler, what are you doing, you son of a bitch? What's happening? Large numbers of uh, famished defenders have succumbed to starvation. Okay, so that means we're making a headway there. Fantastic. So Fat Hitler ended up eating all the uh, food in the castle, thereby causing his own people to starve. Sound familiar, Fat Hitler? You sack of shit. You son of a bitch. You ugly son of a bitch. What is this? Why do I care about you? You're just my courtier. Excuse me, you have fucking parents. Why am I educating you? No, 
No, no, no. Go back to your stupid ass parents. Where are your stupid ass parents? Okay, it's Tomar. Okay, where the fuck is Tomar? Anyone? Or is she a prisoner of mine? She's not. You know what? Just go to that lady, that old lady or whatever. I don't really give a rat's ass. Can we please hurry up and um, just completely siege down Fat Hitler's lands? That'd be great. Thanks. Bible lands. I could just pummel or plunder these places. Hmm. I'm really not sure what type of government I should go for. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me uh, repeatedly ask that question. But I'm just kind of talking to myself at this point. Alright, fine. That's actually taking quite a while to siege down, but it's because they have a lot of troops, I believe. Money-wise, we're losing maybe... maybe a ducat-ish a month. What is this? Look, I realize that you're some... orphan, baby, but... Go, go away and learn from someone else. I don't really give a rat's ass about your future. What? Irminsul destroyed. As the bitter war in Saxony rages on, the armies of the Emperor Buchar of Francia have captured Paderborn, the site of the great shrine of the Holy Tree of Irminsul. By order of the conquering emperor, the troops burned the Holy Tree and then proceeded to destroy the entire shrine. This has infuriated people of the Germanic religion everywhere. Gloria in Excelsis Dio. Um... I, does that mean, like, glory in the great god? Is that is that what's going on? Okay, so are you, in fact, being pissy and shit to all the Germanic people? No, this guy's Christian. Nope, it seems like the Germanic religion is being stomped out. Dude, that is badass. Yeah, let's continue on with a siege here. Eh, it's taking a little while, but... Mm, Maybe if we actually got a chance to fight their army proper, we might have a little bit more uh, war score here. What is with this seizurific numbers? What is happening here? Okay, if you're gonna follow me, follow me. Don't just constantly decide back and fro. That's just disrespectful, guys. Come on. Just commit. Commit to it. Who died now? What the hell is this? Why am I not getting a notification about this business? Oh, it's because he's alive, but he's incapable. It's because he's got pneumonia. That's unfortunate. All right, fine. Let's find a suitable replacement for this dude. Because I think he's uh, he's probably going to bite the bucket. You there. Strong dude. Whose name is definitely not Hercules, which is quite unfortunate. You're going to be our chancellor now. There we go. Fantastic. And we've got one more county to siege there. Alright, man. You are now our, not my concubine. Nope, nope. No, 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 no. You're my chancellor. Fantastic. Chancellor, dude, you've got the greed hand on. Fantastic. And let's send you to fabricate claims in. Well, this is this last county, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was going to do something in the meantime. Uh, maybe increase centralization. I have a lot of supporters for that. Let's go ahead and do that. And... Boom. Goes the dynamite. Uh, maybe I should have changed one of these while I had council support. That might have been a better idea than... Centralization. Eh, that's okay. Nice. 67%. Which isn't... Quite at the level that I wanted to. Let's avoid the rebel army if we can. And go over to uh, Leicester. I failed my half-sister. Well, she failed herself in life. By being my half-sister. Who's not my lover. Actually, speaking of lovers. I need to get a new lover, please. Uh, let's go for someone who is not, in fact, my... Actually, you know what? Dwarf. Women. Who is in diplomatic range. Doesn't necessarily have to be joining my court. Maybe that's why I'm going wrong here. 
What is this? Alone? Oh, you're married? Son of a bitch. All these women. They're all married. Uh huh. Although she's kind of old. I don't know if that's going to work out. Can we... We can't. Can we get this guy killed? Man, that's not going to happen, is it? Okay, fine. How about I invite you to court? You're going to say no because of my false religion. How about if I buy a favor from you? Let's try this. Let's, let's try to buy a favor from him. And then get him to come over. Because I don't think I can just ask the wife to come over. Which is unfortunate. Bitch. You just took my fucking money. I want my money back. I want my money back, you asshole. Damn it. Ah, the rage. Hmm. Oh, man. I didn't realize that she'd come of age. She's the one that we were uh, paying attention to. Ah, there's their army. Let's take them over. Or take them out. Not take them over. We can't take over the army. They're not like them some kind of freaking robots. Get out of my face. What is this? Everybody lies in the courtiers in Ulaid are, are no exception. One of them dared speak up and tell me I'm too cynical and not everyone lies. And I, I guess my mother said that to me? After Queen Mother, after my mother told me not everyone lies, I almost started laughing. I told her that she could prove that, or if she could prove that, I would start believing in mankind again. Would I lose mankind? I didn't. After months of fights, arguments, and tears, my spouse suggested separate bedchambers. No, let's rekindle our love, baby. Come on, girl. Girly poo. You know we can do this. And we shouldn't be taking a river crossing penalty. Fantastic. 94%, just one more fight, and we should be good. Perfect. You little bitch. We won, you asshole. Nice. What is this? Why is Fat Hitler my freaking vassal? Man, what a sack full of nuts. Can I... Plot to revoke his title? No? Come on, man. Come on. Come on, guys. Guys, please. Come on. No? That's unfortunate. Alright, fine. Well, at least we have completely formed Ireland proper. Still don't like what's happening with this guy. Maybe I can kill him. Probably not. That's unfortunate. Alright, fine. But I really need... an heir. That's the first thing. I need an heir. Sorry, not married. Oof. My god. My choices are atrocious. The other guy just ran off with my money, so... Right, you know what? I think we have to just continue to seduce women who are... Uh, within our realm. Let's try to avoid married women. Yeah, and just try to pop out like a... Dwarven baby. I guess I don't technically need to... Seduce them? Uh, yeah, let's actually take one as a concubine. Let's find someone who's lustful at the very least. Eh, 21 years old? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll just... It'll help us uh, pump up some babies faster, right? Okay, so we've got one... Actually... No... Let's not... Because, ah, damn it, yeah, let's not. There's no guarantee that, um, that, uh, it's going to be a dwarven boy that, uh, that's born, right? If it's just, like, a dwarven kid, if it's just, like, a little boy, then he'll automatically be the heir. It'll, like, make me, make me sad and shit. You can create the Duchy of Gwynedd? Oh, no, not yet. That's, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's, that, that's what that is. And go to war against you for what? Oh, make a tributary and claim uh, Gloucester. Or, yeah. What about the scrawny looking dude? I can just make him my tributary. 
Nah. You son of a bitch. <sighs> Took my money and nothing. Nothing. I want your dwarven wife! Asshole. Unacceptable. Alright, well, um... She's my... She's not my... Oh, she's my concubine. Oh, she's not my concubine. She's someone's concubine. She's my marshal's concubine. I see. Well... My marshal might not be happy about that. So maybe we should find someone else to seduce. Yeah, fine. Let's find someone else to seduce. Stop the seduction of that girl and start seducing... This girl. There we go. She's my half-sister. Huh, I can seduce my half-sister again. Oh well. Alright, well, let's leave it off here for now. Um, and come back again in the next episode. We're making some good progress here. Definitely making some good progress. And we should be able to see a little bit more territory gain in the next episode. And soon enough, we should be able to rival Scotland itself. And I say Scotland because even though they're tribal, they're still the biggest realm inside of, um, in, in Britannia, right? So, that's one thing you have to look out for. Right, and, uh, we'll also need to focus on, uh, pumping out some babies. So, um, hmm. Yeah, my sister has unfortunately hit menopause, so we can't really, uh, make any babies there anymore. So, we'll have to be a little bit more proactive with our baby making. Alright, so for now, we'll leave it off here and we'll see you guys again tomorrow for some more CK2. So, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.